like Oscar and Stevie are ready to go. There's the flip to see who breaks. All right. And looks like uh, Oscar's gonna get first crack at this match. Again, this is going to be a race to, do you know what the race is to, Barbara? Eight. This is a race to eight as well. All right, hello folks, it is the BBQ and I am joining Mike here in the commentary booth for another great match. Absolutely. Here at the Mayan end of the world, and it's not <laughs> the end yet, because we're still here. <laughs> Daniel's gonna be doing some uh, camera work, so this is gonna be a treat for this match. And uh, gosh, we've had some great action today. Oh yeah. And great prizes, boy, the prizes have just been flowing out. Absolutely. The Andrew Park Q got won by uh, Dustin Logan, who was on yeah. this table earlier. Yeah. Now, all of you guys, thank you again for uh, participating in that uh, raffle the, for the prize oh, that we've absolutely. been raffling off. Uh, proceeds do go help to uh, support POV Pool, and so that we can continue bringing uh, these great matches. I believe the uh, the raffle went to uh, towards POV Pool, or oh, I'm no, sorry, no, no, no. I was misinformed. All this money goes towards okay. this whole event. Oh, okay. Well, there it goes. Looks like it. All that went towards the event. Sorry about that. Uh, so. It helps pay for all of the uh, items that are being raffled. Ah, and then there we go. Anything left over gets uh, put into the pool for all the other expenses. Ah, there we go. Okay. Well, again, thank you all of you guys for uh, supporting the uh, the raffle and going in for the prizes. Well, this should be a good match. Um, these are two very high-level players. Oh, obviously. absolutely. I mean, uh, Oscar's definitely uh, not a, a stranger to the billiard world. Definitely made a name for himself over the last uh, few, oh, last several years. Uh-oh. Oh, and... Uh, not going to like that. Nope. Too far. Yeah. Maybe not far enough, actually. I think Oscar maybe wanted to come down just a little bit more so he could get that three ball. Either way, he's stuck now. Uh, well, boy, it would have had to come an off a long way. Yeah. And I think you're right, though. Yeah. Yeah. I think Oscar. Wa I think he wanted. To, I think at the speed he hit it, he wanted to come out a little bit further so he could yeah, hit that yeah, three yeah. up in the corner. But still, the angle was kind of. Oh wrong. yeah. Mm, Looks like Oscar. Around this floor. No, you know, oh. nice little jump Hard shot. Jump there. Yeah. And. Boy, he's good at that. Yep. Yeah. Oscar's got a strong game all around. He's a definitely a dedicated player. I've, t I've spoken uh, with him several times about his practice regimen, and he's just on the table every single day. Absolutely, he is. Yeah. And and for not just an hour either. <laughs> no, no, he's not, out, and he's just not out there banging away either. I mean, he's no. got a. He told me he's got a pretty regimented routine that he goes through when he's practicing, and it's definitely uh, paid off for him. Well, you know, the, the thing of it is, is that this is a sport, you know, and there's athleticism involved. Mm -hmm. uh, people don't realize that. No. You better be in shape. I can tell you that because trying to bend over and get upside, you know legs up on the table and stretched out or whatever you you you, you yeah. uh, I absolutely agree to Barbara I've had some uh, debates about people about you know whether or not billiards is an actual sport and I'll and all I simply tell them is try playing uh, a tournament like some of these pros nine, do for nine, nine 10 11 12 hours sometimes right. in one day and you know I tell them, tell me how your back feels afterwards That's and right. your arms. That's right. You know, there's a you definitely do use your body, and just because it's not like a con, just because it's not a contact sport doesn't mean you don't, you know, your body doesn't go through some uh, some rigor. Oh, it definitely does. Are you kidding me? Uh, oh. I was about to. <laughs> oh. Oh yes, Stevie Moore's Q. Yeah, Stevie Moore definitely play, plays with uh, a significantly really longer long. Q than uh, than most people uh, are accustomed to. No need for an extension for him, that's for sure. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's just trying to kind of cock in his head a little bit because he's misjudging some yeah. of the speed on these shots. 
you know, at this point, you know, these guys, they want to be exactly where they oh, want to yeah. be. Oh, yeah. You know, they're an inch off. They're not happy. Yeah, and uh, Oscar, um, Oscar, I know for sure, is uh, he definitely leans on the side of a perfectionist. Absolute, he's always oh, looking. Absolutely. He's always looking for that one, that right spot that he wants that cue ball. And he gets that he gets that ball to that spot so often that when he does come up short on it, he definitely gets frustrated with himself. Yeah, and he, then you get the look. Then you get the, the look. What? Yeah, he's got the that. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar playing a two rail shape and that's a good roll. Yeah. I think he might have wanted that a little, a little bit further. further. He went a little farther up, but he's not he's definitely not in a bad shape here. He's definitely got a makeable shot. And there it is. The butt. Right uh, in. Yeah, he does put the hand up yeah. because that could have wobbled. <laughs> oh, yeah. He definitely didn't hit that straight in. That kind of bobbled All in. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar on the board. One to zero. Oh, All right. And here's Oscar checking that rack, making sure everything's nice and tight. Well, I'll tell you, you know, I've, I've really started to realize how important the break is, you know, myself personally, and I've really been working on my break. Oh, yeah. Parking that cue ball in the middle of the table and Absolutely. making the ball and having a shot on the one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and the rack is really important on that, and a lot of people, you know, they, they let a rack go that's, you know, and not completely tight yeah and, and there's a lethal great break by oscar right there talking about parking that cue oh, ball i mean you. he slammed that in and then yes, just got it got to sit it would have stayed right where it was had uh, had not um, gotten caromed off by that five you know the, that's another conversation i've had too around billiards too is that uh, a lot of people don't um they're still trying to figure out the 10 ball break i mean it's i love just, the 10 ball break. yeah well, a lot of people are trying to, some people can't seem to figure out how to make that ball on the break. You know, some people have a little bit of difficulty about where to place the cue ball. Like, some people still break from the side. Oh, yeah, no. You know, like a nine side ball. And, uh, uh -huh. Yeah, side, to, um, it, it hasn't been as successful yeah, no. for a lot of people. No. I don't no. break from the side. I no. break from the, just slightly to the left no. and the center. And uh, you, especially if you're using a magic rack, uh, you don't need to power the break in. Mm. In fact, you take a little off the break you're likely to spread and make a ball. Absolutely. That's what I've come to see. Yeah, come absolutely. See anyway. Yep. Uh -oh. And Stevie okay, Morrell looks like, right. yeah, he's all right. Looks like you can see that enough that too. I don't, yeah, I, don't know I can't tell if it's on frozen corner, though. Yeah. That side corner. Oh. I don't know. He's looking. And Stevie's checking. Looks like it's a lot closer than he'd like it to be anyway. But you know that, that shot, if it is just Right on the corner, mm -hmm. you know you can power that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that rubber will give That's just right. enough right. to just, just like kind of go right in. Smack. Yep. With a lot of power, it'll it'll go yeah. right in. I love that shot. <laughs> <laughs> so impressive. Oh yeah. I think I saw it on television. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the. I had a, a guy show that to me. I think it was actually here before, and uh, you know. I saw the people open the bleachers and all that, and they saw that shot go in, and they were just they were just amazed. Like, how did that ball actually go in? I thought it was blocked yeah, by the well, pocket. They don't realize that cushion yeah. just bend right in. With exactly. Power. Yep. And then the other impressive one is, you know, like the cue ball and the object ball lined up straight into the side pocket. And oh yeah. Force follow. Oh yeah. And throw the cue ball off. Mm-hmm. They're thinking, oh, you're gonna scratch. No. And there's Stevie. Again, perfect position for that four. Boy, that, is long. that looks like a javelin to me, I'm telling I'm tell you. Yeah, it's just... That looks like something out of the Olympic Games. And he's got that wrist, uh, wrist guide on, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Look at that. Keep that wrist straight. Oh, is that what that's for? That's exactly what that's wow. for. Wow. I know another guy, um, Andrew Belcher. He plays uh -huh. locally at a lot of our tournaments, and he's been using that for quite some time to to keep his wrist straight. Oh, I see. And he had actually had gone on the hunt for one that 
you know, worked for pool. Mm -hmm. They use them like in bowling and and for injuries. Ah, uh, like okay. And there's different kinds of models of those, but uh, mm -hmm. that, that or you know maybe he does have a little bit of an injury to his wrist. You don't know. Exactly. I know in Andrew's case that was not the case. It was just oh. see he knew that as soon as he let go. Yeah. You could tell. He knew it. Yeah. And that's the most horrible feeling when when you start to let go of the stroke and you know it's. Yeah. Wrong. The minute you get the minute you hit that cue ball. And you, you can't know. stop it. Midway. Exactly. <laughs> yep. It's too late. Well, that's another tool that uh, I haven't heard of that I just found out about a wrist brace that keeps uh, keeps your wrist straight while you're shooting. A lot of tools that players are using these days. There's Oscar. Great cue ball control, holding that ball in the middle of the table. Well, he's in good line for this run out. No. I think Oscar's just going to um, go off uh, one rail and come back up the table for that nine in this bottom pocket. Oh, it looks, oh, it actually looks like he's queuing to draw it. Oh. That was some oh. darn good speed, I can tell you that. Great speed to get that ball over. Looks like he's opting for the uh, longer shot. Yeah, but he'll have natural shape. He pockets this and just rolls a little forward. Right. Come off the rail a little bit. Yep. Of course, nobody likes... Going past that side, side pocket, pocket, exactly. You know, that's why that I was. Rail. That's why I thought he would actually shoot down to this bottom corner pocket, just cause, because of that fact. Oh, well, Oscar, but there's the shape. No problem. See? Perfect yeah. shape. He's straight in for that that ten ball. Can't ask for more than that. And Oscar on the board, two nothing. All right. Or, there we go. Okay. All right. When I click on this. Alrighty, folks. Looks like I am going to be uh, getting out of the commentary seat, but I will be replaced by someone who is, I'm sure, far more knowledgeable than me, Mr. John Bertone. So, uh, John Bertone and Barbara Lee here, and I'm turning it over. All right, it's Oscar Dominguez two. Thank you for the Steve kind words, Mike. Zero so far. And, I'm uh, still a neophyte at this, and I always will be. And here comes Sir John Bertone of Kamui Products in the booth with the BBQ. Well, I'm super excited to have Oscar playing on the TV table. Oh, absolutely. Are you <laughs> kidding? Well, it, it was what, last month when I learned that he was going to be playing in our tournament. And uh, I heard that he was wearing the Team Rubicon t-shirt oh, yes. at a previous tournament. And so I said, hey, could you wear that T-shirt again? <laughs> he says, no, no problem. This is like a month ago. And he still remembered. He showed up today with a Team Rubicon T-shirt. Oh, he's great. He's just class act. Yeah, he is. Know, he's really, really cool. He and his dad are just... Really cool. You know, I, 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 w I wish the Oof. whole community was like that, you know? Yeah. So uh, if nobody knows what, the t what Team Rubicon is... Well, well, go ahead. Here, I'm going to, it's perfect segue right into there it, isn't go. it? There you go. Well, Team Rubicon is is a nonprofit organization of veterans who donate their time to disaster relief. And you can search for Team Rubicon on, on uh, Facebook or just Google Team Rubicon, and you'll find the links to who they are and what they're about. If you're a uh, veteran and have special talents and want to, you know, help in any kind of compa capacity, they already have 6,000 members. Uh, they did a huge 
thing with uh, Hurricane Sandy. I was, in fact, I was at the headquarters in L.A. with my best friend Cal. Yeah, I remember. I remember hearing about that. Yeah, and and you were at my Christmas party, and yes. Cal was there. Yes. And uh, he he was in the military for 20 years, right out of high school. They have so much knowledge. And, oh yeah. And experience. Oh yeah. And, and I was helping Cal coordinate well over 150 uh, people as far as Hawaii, mm. flying out to Hurricane Sandy area and help clean up that area well i just think that's so awesome i mean you know it's people not only giving back but you know being useful and mm -hmm. having something that they can do for others and i was very happy to get team rubicon's pool table set up at their headquarters Aww. and oscar and his father came in and, and donated their time oh, to wow. putting the Don't cloth the size to the, yeah, the table yes yeah, and they were very happy to give him shirts and hung out for a little bit. And oh, that's fantastic! Yeah. And so here he is. Team Rubicon is an amazing group that you may want to just get a glimpse about what they're about when you have a moment. I know I'm a big fan. Yes, I, well, as you should be. I think it's a really worthwhile yeah, and it's important really, thing. Yeah, what's really know? cool about them, it, it's not just here in the U.S., but you know, internationally too. Uh, wherever there there is a need, they're pretty much the first responders to get out there. Nice combo. Very nice. Yeah. For those of you just joining us, you know, th this is the uh, POV pool slash Kamui slash hard times uh, hmm. Mayan end of the world 10 ball tournament. It is uh, BCA 10 ball rules. Three foul rule is in effect. And it is called shot, called pocket. Yeah. Uh, I so should, there's uh, no slop. should get a picture, picture of uh, Oscar. So that way I can post it up on the Team Rubicon Facebook page. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this is, this is definitely not a piece of cake here. Now, you know, he's not back to his super thin shaft. Oof. Well, he missed it the right direction. You know, he played yeah. two way on that. Yeah, make him work Good for shot. that one. Yes. Good shot. But uh, he and his dad both were playing with those like nine millimeter, eight and a half millimeter. Yeah, they were papers, testing, those, testing those out. You know, and uh, I actually have one that's, I believe it's nine and a half, and I love it. But boy, you you got to be really shooting on with that thing because it just magnifies anything that's wrong. Oh yeah. But I really liked it. I liked the control that I had. It's like a fly fishing pole. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's real, very. Uh, you can get out all kinds of situations that you normally wouldn't really be able to get out of. You know, my at my dad's house at his pool table, we we have a uh, nice shot. Nice. Yeah, very thick jump cue or mass A cue. And just for fun of it, I uh, strung on some uh, fishing pole eyelets onto this thing and made it into a fishing pole. Get out. Yeah, for, for deep sea f sport fishing because oh, it's heavens. so stiff and it's, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well so there's this big reel one. and this these, like, five eyelets on it. <laughs> uh, never, that's a new one. I haven't heard of that. <laughs> i got to take a picture of it the next time I'm at my dad's. Definitely have not heard of that one before. It's going to... Oh. Okay, now he did not stroke smooth through that one, if you will 
notice, see he's looking at the stroke right now. Yeah. He, he kind of punched it. And he just handed it to Stevie. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> he couldn't have handed any better. Yeah, no, uh, I'd, boy. I'd take it. Steve is going great. Maybe I'm going to get on the board now. <laughs> Big shout out to all of you out there in uh, the chat land, everybody that's come in. This is POV Pool alongside Kamui Products in the booth as we speak. Celebrating the first annual Mayan end of the world 10 ball tournament here at Hard Times Billiards in Southern California. How much you want to bet we're going to actually survive the end of the world? Oh, I don't know. You know, we're, it, it's not the end of the day yet. <laughs> not the end of the day. It ain't fully over. Uh, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the big one. All right, Stevie Moore now on the wire. And it is 2 one. <coughs> excuse me, 2 1. Oscar over Stevie. Got a long way to go. This is a race to eight on both the winners and the one lost side. And we will be streaming all night long until this is done. This is a one day event. And I have to say that we've, uh, we've actually had a lot of people kidding us along the way that asked if this was a one day event and were challenging us as to, are, you, are they kidding? Are they really kidding? They're, they're gonna get this done in one day? And we said, yeah, we are. So uh, we're just gonna have to prove we can. <laughs> oh, shout out there to Snooker in the chat room. Hi there, Snooker and uh, Shroom and Seb and gosh, look at all you guys. Who else? Who else we got out there? CMB, Steve Kerr, Amir, Bacon, Curly Wish, Dave, Dextros, Donkey, John. We got a whole slew. KC, LA Lack, Mark, Market Work, like that, MK888. MNS, MNS Shooter, MN Shooter, Nine Ball, Otrebor, Pat B, Fox, Pool Action Video, RCJ, See Me Bill, SSTZ, Steve, Don Espinosa, that Pull Stats guy, TT9, wow. Welcome all. Snooker out here in our audience is uh, explaining to us that the red super giant star Beetlejuice could still go supernova and end it all. That so is a possibility. So midnight maybe tonight. Let's hope it's not. Let's, let's hope that uh, we get through the tournament before <laughs> it ends. This is also a first for POV pool, uh, at least on this type of a tournament. We have two cameras available. Daniel's working the cameras as we speak to give you additional angled shots. We're hoping that you enjoy that. Well, I see what he was trying to do with that shot. He's going to have to figure out uh, plan B, I think. As you can see, the, uh, we've got a little traffic problem here. Now what he could do is just really, really thin this five and just bring the cue ball back and leave it to Stevie to just like that. But I think he hit it a little too hard. No, he's right behind the 10. That looks pretty good. Nice. Very nice shot. Very nice shot.
Nice hit. Yeah. Very nice. Look at this. Safety right oh. back at you. Yep. Uh, yeah. oh, well, yeah. he can see it. He well, can hit it, but yeah, he can hit it. He can't get it. I don't think he can get anything from it, though. No. He'll have to. Well, he's got a couple of options that he could do here. He can jump, which is one option. He can masse a little bit around this. He can go one rail. He can clip the edge of it. But it's all where you want that cue ball to end up. The shaft that he has on this cue is a uh, purple heart shaft. Yeah, he's just going to jump over the That's uh, just like hitting with a sledgehammer is what he's doing. Oh, yeah. He's got that nice, mm. relaxed uh, wrist. I don't know what happened there. You know, I'm wondering if there was a bit of a miscue on that. Possibly. You know, we have a really, you know, this, this field here today, a very classy, mm -hmm. very classy field. These, these guys are all, you know, they're, they're all gentlemen. Yeah, they are. It's really been a, a pleasure to watch all these matches to here today. Gosh, John, we could just do this every month. <laughs> <laughs> Well, next year, the 21st falls on a Saturday. Well, that's way better than Friday. Yeah, I would Yeah, and I think it would be a fun thing to do again next year. And and I loved what you had said about the name of it. Well, we've been coming up with lots of names. What, what the Mayans we? were wrong. Oh, yeah, the Mayans <laughs> were wrong. They forgot to carry the two. Exactly. Now, I noticed, um, I was watching Stevie earlier when he was playing over here on table one, mm -hmm. and boy, was his back arm shaky. Uh. Now, I know that there's some players that, that that's just how they play. The back arm shakes, Yeah. okay? Uh, but uh, I'm not as familiar with him in his game to know if that's He's all the time. He's put on this brace, so it's actually stopped a lot of that shaking. So there we go. Stevie Moore takes another one on the wire here. I believe that ties us up. Is, am I, or am I behind? Well, hopefully I'm correct. I get a little lost sometimes because I get to talk. <laughs> but I do believe we're uh, tied up here uh, to a piece in this race to eight. At some point, we'll get Daniel or somebody will uh, will get us an update on who's left on the winners side of this uh, tournament. This was a 32-player limited to 32-player field today. The best of the best are here, and uh, double double elimination. Both sides race to eight. BCA standard 10-ball rules called pocket. The use of the magic rack is in play on all tables today. And if the 10 ball is made on the break, it will be spotted. Three foul rule is in effect also. I think I'm done with my commercial. <laughs> all right, so uh, one of our Chat buddy Shroom says mm. that uh, Stevie suffers from a benign tremor disorder. Okay. Very well, now you know. So that may be the whole reason for the for the wrist brace to begin with. Right. Nothing to do with keeping the wrist straight. And yet he plays like that, even with all of that going on. It's pretty strong. Yeah.
Well, we've got a, a pretty decent crowd in here tonight, uh, and I expect more will be coming in as the night progresses. It's only 621, and uh, usually things get hopping here uh, at hard times around 8 o'clock. Uh, Friday yeah. night, people come home from work, you know, eat, little family time, and it's off to the pool hall. Stevie pushed for Oscar. I think Oscar's going to take it. Marie Lim letting everybody know in the house here. No flash photography and no cell phones. Surprising upset uh, early today or in uh, earlier this evening. Uh, a match between Melinda Wang and Jamal, this uh, new, new kid from Morocco, good player. Uh, and uh, they went hell hell, Melinda took him out. Wow. Strong. Yeah, I think he's going for the combo here. Yeah, I'm sure he is. Did not make it. Did not make it. And yeah, folks uh, out there too, on this tournament, you know, it is the player's responsibility to call the shot, uh, call the, the pocket. They must call the pocket that they're shooting for. Now on obvious shots, you know, where it's a no brainer, you know what pocket they're shooting at. These guys are at a level, they don't need to be doing that every five seconds. But boy, if there's a question, uh, especially on some of the banks or the combos or the whatever, you know, you really need to make sure your opponent knows exactly what you're intending to do because that can become a problem. If they challenge that afterwards, then it's a problem. Also, if you uh, are calling a safety or some other shot and another ball goes into the pocket accidentally it, the, uh, and you don't like where the cue ball ends up, the opponent has the option to give that shot back to you. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's another one of the nice Ooh. little uh, go, go, slicey go, go, touch go, go. on that. Mm. I think Stevie has a little bit of a sliver of it. A little hard to see from this angle. If he does, it's pretty paper thin, though, I think. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to tell. The way it looks on the screen in the uh, here is a little different than how it looks when you're looking at it live on the table. He might not even have enough to make this. He does. He sure did. Look at that. He was worried about this, though. Or is that cue ball going to end up? Nicely done. Now he's got Angle to come back down for this four.
We have Ramin, um, who, <laughs> excuse me, had a win over Dave Hemmer earlier. He's now playing Santos. Mm -hmm. I, I think they just had a, a break here recently. Ooh. You know, I think he looked at that thing too long. Yeah. I think he should have just shot it. And he elected not to come around. He elected to come. So, yeah, I don't know. He's just got to play safe. Trying to put it behind that nine. Mm, very good. Oh, he's calling it. He's calling it in the corner. Can he see it? Nope. So this is, I, I have, he's going to come off the side rail. He's going to come across up to the face of the four. And he's going to go for that watch. Oh, well. He, he, he just didn't catch it right. No. But that's what he was going to do. That's what he was trying to do. But the four will go into that corner pocket anyway, just by the wrong person. Well, there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> you win. <laughs> I didn't lose another dollar, did I? Because I no, lost so no. many dollars on the street. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, he's shaking his head a little bit. It's like, where are you going, cue ball? You know, it's so easy when you when you when you're pulling your your perfect position on every shot. You know, right? You don't have to work at it. You're right, right. where you're supposed to be. It's just a matter of you know, make the ball. Okay, good. Well, oh. but you know what? See, here's the thing. When you don't get to where you want to be, and now you've got this kind of oddball shot, it, it messes with you sometimes, you know? And instead uh -huh. of just accepting it and going, okay, well, here's the shot I've got now. And here's how I have to hit it in order to get back in the line. You've got to really, it's, it's hard sometimes to just purge out the, gosh, I, did, I wasn't supposed to be here. Right. Know? All right. 
mental. It's so mental. <clears throat> I heard a really good piece of advice from Dave Hamma, House Pro here. Mm -hmm. And when he teaches, you know, he'd been working with some of the girls, and one of the things that he, you know, goes by is that you've got 15 seconds to mull over your missed shot. <laughs> you know? And then move on. Yeah. Or, yeah. or your missed position, or, you know, whatever it is that you're like, you know, want to throw your cue stick or something you know you got 15 seconds to get over it and then move on love that because mm -hmm. it just sort of puts a little discipline there it's like okay you know, go ahead shout scream get it out get it all out all right oscar takes another it down. one down for oscar All right, I think that's correct. Three, two. They're not uh, keeping the beads, so. No, they're not keeping beads. All right, well, if anybody wants to correct me, uh, be my guest. Three, two, oh good, Don Espinosa. It's official because Don Espinosa from Pool Tracks that pool stats guy has confirmed that I'm good to go on that. All right. Powerful break. There we go. Two ball in the corner. Look at this. Shot on the one. The one goes. The one to the, to the, got the, to three. the three is really the, the. That's the difficult one. Because you got the that, threes that's being right. blocked. You got a little landmine going along the, the way there. And you have to come back the other side. The for eight the four, is huge. Five. All right. Well, this is going to. He's got some work cut out for him. Absolutely. It require a little manipulation or play safe. I don't know. Look at that. Ooh. Of course, you can just draw it right past the side pocket into there perfect position there, too. <laughs> yeah. Made it look a whole lot easier than what we were looking at, I think. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and all of you out there also, please let everybody know, you know, we're going to be streaming all night. You know, this, this is a one-day tournament, so it takes as long as it takes. And I'm sure it's going to be taking quite a while because this is a race to eight on both the uh, winners and the one loss side. We're going to be here a lot more. Yeah, we're going to be. Hours. Yeah, we will be here for a while. And a lot of streaming to come. Yeah, and please post as much as you can. That's right. Let everybody know. You to, uh, yeah, hop on now. You're going to get your ten bucks worth. You know. Yeah. Oh yeah. And also a chance to win a pool cue. That's right, pool cue. We have that pool cue raffle coming up. That will be done later. And I got a quarter. Daniel needs a penny. Anybody? I have a quarter. I have a coin. I have a quarter. Well, Daniel's just a wreck because he lost his memory. Oh yes. Just a minute ago. He, he did lose some memory. And, he, and then, he, then found he found it. it. And then now he needs a quarter <laughs> to mess with the camera. He's going to put a quarter in the camera just so it could work. Yeah, stand by, folks, with the camera angles here. You know, more equipment is just more things to watch over, you know? Yeah. All right, Oscar's got a good chance at this run out, and I, I fully expect him to run this rack out. No, Commentator's curse. you just God, I did. jinxed I, oh, my man. man. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> God. Well, I, I mean, that. it could have, couldn't have been a better position anyway. But I hate that. Yeah, it happens it. so often, though. Let's see how Stevie moves this one.
Well, I don't know about you, John, but I know that you were here till late last night. We certainly were here, here till very late last night. We ran into traffic getting home. That late? Oh, yeah, on the 5, because they were working on the, on oh, the 5. Oh, yeah.
shot and so if I'm not mistaken now Alex Alex is the one trailing I mean Oscar is the one trailing is that correct well I see the beads at seven and so they're not using the beads okay so that's the problem all right 
Uh, so I see a score of now it's five for Oscar. He just moved the, be the bead to or the coin to the fifth spot. I don't know if you see a coin on the other side. Do you? Where's it at? Okay, so it's. Okay, all right, good. We have our answer. It's six to five, Stevie Moore against Oscar Dominguez. Six four or six five? They're going that way. <laughs> okay, it's five to three. Three Stevie Moore. For more accurate stats, please go to pool tracks. Okay, Dexter Rosales won a polo. I have his address. It's right here. Meanwhile, match is ongoing right now. We have Sean Lane versus Melinda Wang, Ramin Bakhtari versus Santos Sambahon. Al Romero playing Jamal Wisi. Corey Harper in a match right now with Bo Runnigan. Looks like Sal Butera is playing. Well, he might just be practicing there. I think Foch is playing. Uh, is that Foch? Foch playing Deo Alpahora? No, Dave Hemma playing Deo. Those of you who want to know uh, how to get a end of the world T-shirt, you can uh, hit up Steve Dittmar. at Poolaholic Apparel on his Facebook page. I'm putting the link in the chat room right now. So you got his address and everything. All right. In addition, guys, uh, I'm still waiting to hear from still waiting to hear from Jim Fort Collins. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to give away another T-shirt to Master, are you there, Pool Q Master? If Pool Q Master is in the chat room, come on up. We're going to give you guys. Give you a t shirt. Siebert's logo t shirt. I'm just amazed at how long this queue is. Did 
Stevie Moore is using. Palafox or P Fox 65. Um, you are the recipient of an extra large polo, so we're going to get that out to you. Stevie Moore rolling dangerously close to his work there. This is this is a pressure shot right here, especially being down. <clears throat> Absolutely. And it goes in. Very oh, good there shot. There you go. Nice shot. And Stevie uh, Moore wants to work his way back into this game. Little golf clap from the audience there. Uh, well deserved. And that's going to make it five games to four. Stevie Moore. He just tightened the gap. You're watching The End of the World. And we're still here. The 10 ball tournament of the Mayans. All right. The following winners in the chat who we need information from to uh, come forth to claim their prize are P Fox 65, Nine Ball 13, Jim Fort Collins, and Pool Q Master. So give us a shout up and uh, get us your info and a private message to uh, POV Pool there. And we'll get, your, we have. we'll get your information. Thank you, P Fox. And uh, PFOX, if you can also PM me your email and phone number, that'd be great. Thank you. I said email and phone number. That's okay. Nice break. Look at that. Two balls. How many balls down on that break? Well, looks like four. Whoa. Monster break there. And this is, this is an action rack right here. Jim Fort Collins. <laughs> Jim Fort Collins has uh, declined his prize. We're going to. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. We're going to move it on. Thank you, Jim. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Dex Rose, Dexter, you are still eligible to win one of the cues, yes. Okay, also to all of you, all of the winners, if you're out of state and uh, there's no delivery available by immediate pickup or somebody that you know that, that might be able to bring you your prize, we will also need to know how you would like it shipped um, or any special shipping instructions. I uh, Let me clarify that. Otherwise, we'll just send it out slow boat to China. Well, that, that was pretty monster. You know, he made four balls on the break there. We still got about 10 players left. And we are going to be here a while, guys. So kick back, relax, grab some popcorn. Ooh, popcorn. And enjoy the show. Hot streaming popcorn. Now that's, that's for me.
lot of them are. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. We had a we had a problem. We have a rule here not to forfeit any any games. You know, like if he's shooting a duck on the ten ball, please don't forfeit the ten ball. And unfortunately, somebody did do that. But uh, you know, I I have a I I don't know. I'm sympathetic. Well, I don't think I that a lot a of them are a lot used of people to that. Yeah, that it's a very difficult rule it's to. It's hard to remember because they're not they're not used to it. Okay. Moving on to our next random winner. Okay, that's six. You're doing six, not five? Oh, I don't know. Did he say? Well, six? you said five. All you right. said you were going to Are we do giving five. away more stuff right now? Yeah. Okay. David, Dave Bilgen. Dave Bilgen, are you there? I have five teachers and five polos, so now where are we at? Uh, it's Viking. Stevie Moore kicking. Wow. 
Well, he had the right idea. I think yeah, he was two way uh, shot. He was trying to play the the cue ball behind the four, I believe. And that was a beautiful kick as well. So Oscar still at five games here. Stevie Moore. Well, he ran a two pack almost, pretty much there. Oscar didn't get enough draw on that seven. Yeah. Uh, but he's got eagle eyes right now, so. Yeah, he really wants to win this. Can't blame the guy. I mean. You know, hundred dollar buy in to win fifteen hundred dollar payout. Actually I'm gonna be letting you guys know the payouts. It's uh first place. Second place, $750. Third place, $500. Fourth place, $350. Fifth place and sixth place, $250. on just a second. Seventh and eighth, 200. But let me double check that because ninth through 12th, we're supposed to go, in, oh, I think we're paying through eighth place, aren't we? So seventh and eighth are $200. We're paying through eighth place, guys. 
sorry, bongos in the wind. <laughs> That's Barbara. She's she's not comfortable with this microphone. It's it. You gotta like not let it go back and forth because it, it does sound like bongos in the wind, Barb. Like a bongo in the wind. Never knowing who to sing to when the bananas come in. What I wouldn't like to know you, but I was just a kid. The bongos flew out long before the coconuts ever did. Bonky, bonky, bonka, bonk. That was a beautiful shot. Oscar now has evened up the score. It is now six games to six in a race to eight. We have a hell of a match, and I've just been giving away merchandise. I kind of feel guilty. Oscar taking a close look here at the situation. I'm not really sure what he's looking at. I think he's trying to see if he can force follow the cue ball so that he doesn't get hooked behind the seven. Yeah, he was worried about getting corner hooked there. Or, I mean, just get, getting stuck in the, getting rattled in the jaws of that pocket. and. It kind of took him off angle. Did not get the best of that shot, so. And I'm guessing Oscar's just going to have to bear down and try to ease this three ball into the side. A little, little bit of forward follow. Just cue ball foul. Just cue ball foul. Okay. Uh, Jamal, S just a second. All right, we have another player question uh, during the tournament here. Daniel is the go-to guy for all questions. I don't know where the tournament director is right now, but uh, I think they're on the other side. Other side of the room, taking care of other business. Also, I would like to remind, I think it was Pool Q Master who had sent his information that we needed sent again. Yes. Uh, one of them. Yeah, I think he may have sent that in again. So, yes, he did. Oh, here we okay. go, honey. Right here. Pool Q Master from Noel, Carolina. Thank you.
Oscar now, uh, you know, this is this is actually turning out to be a really good match with Oscar dominating most of this match until Stevie had a couple had a really good break that uh, amassed in a run out. Four balls he made on the break. Running out and and then almost breaking and running again. Want to come on? And there it is, Oscar now on the hill. Again, Stevie Moore. Wait a second, five, six, seven, yep. Definitely on the hill against Stevie Moore, which would be an upset for Stevie Moore, who, you know, really slid into gear there for a second. Just had a... Uh, Okay, uh, Stevie's going to take a quick break. It's his shot. He's got his cue on the uh, on the table, and Oscar is just taking a look at the the layout here. Look at the length of that cue, guys. I mean, it's like 60. It's got to be at least 64 inches. And uh, you know, once again, I just want to thank everybody for coming onto the stream. And I'd like to thank all of our sponsors uh, for this event. Uh, Kamui Tips, uh, Hard Times Bellflower, Viking Cues, Seabirds Billiard Supply, the Orange County APA. Also, Andrew Park Cues contributed a cue here. We, we, we gave it away on the, uh, well, not on the stream, but we gave it away to uh, one of our spectators here, who was actually a player, Justin Logan won it. Also, I'd like to thank Max Eberly and the Pro Pool Academy. We're going to be also raffling off uh, two of his DVDs, the Powerful Pool DVDs. In fact, uh, after I also thank, uh, finally, Virtual Pool 4, Steve Chaplin. And finally, I'd like to thank uh, Don Espinosa and Pool Tracks for providing real-time player statistics and... Uh, lifetime, you know, shot by shot analysis of all of these matches that are streamed by POV Pool. Stevie Moore now kind of fighting for his life here in this game with Oscar Dominguez, who are both trying to come back from the from the one loss, I believe, to stake their claim in the top eight players of this event. Thirty-two players in all.
Well, obviously, Stevie here not giving up. Oscar waiting patiently. For an opportunity here to close it out. Hustler in the chat room uh, <laughs> asking uh, how long Stevie Moore has been a mini Earl Strickland with that long cue. 74 inches that cue is. 70 inches, 24 ounces. And Scott White has uh, joined me. How you doing, Scott? I'm okay. Uh, Drinking coffee and debating whether to drive home. <laughs> well, that answers the question. San Diego. Yeah, so I got a two-hour drive. Well, that answers the question I was about to ask you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, uh, Sal tried to give it to me multiple times, so uh, I thought it'd be a good idea if I tried to give it back to him. Each time he tried to give it to me. Yeah, yeah. And I succeeded. Well. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't really come mentally prepared to play this tournament. I, uh... And Louis kind of my head just uh, wasn't in it. He's playing Louis well. Louis kind of ran over you, didn't he? What was the score? Yeah, I, I got to the table four times and uh, yeah, it was eight zero. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, I think my chat room is probably going to correct me here. I, I believe the score is actually seven to six. Oh, right here. Yeah, eight zero. Yeah, no, I got to the table four times, and uh, he he basically ran the first three racks more or less. I mean, I was I was locked up. Um, he shit saved me twice, which is you know normal, not a big deal. Um, but if he got ball in hand, or if I missed a kick or something, I mean, he was out, and uh, you know he played he played really well. He's uh, he's just playing really simple, and uh, he's just being real consistent right now so you know it's basically all anybody wants to uh, do in this game you know you don't you know wow. being, a, being a shot maker does not take you very far I mean it looks good but it doesn't do much for you well Stevie Moore is uh, very quickly proving that uh, shot making and oh, has he been, break uh, technology is 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 making a huge difference. His, he has his, stayed at the table six times af a, after the break. Hmm. In this set. So, have you talked to him? Uh, when? I'm sorry. Uh, when five out of his last six. When, uh, when, six when did he? When did he switch table. to the uh, long queue? You know, I don't know, and I've been meaning to. And then, uh, and then, very, what's? It's a very recent. Uh, what's change. up? What's up with the? Uh, the uh, crossbow wrist guard thing. Well, it's it's very reminiscent of Earl. So I'm 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 only get, I can only no, assume. Uh, no one asked him. I can only assume that it's TV it's weighted. It's weighted. So if you wear weights on your wrist, then it, you can come through easier. No, no, he's always shaking. Um, he, he'd need like I'd want to wear, wear like you know 32 ounces to get rid of that shake or more you know but that it's too it's too much I think I think it has something to do with just wrist action m myself I think it keeps his wrist from breaking um, but I don't know I haven't talked to him about it and if any, anybody out there knows what the what the wrist guard is for, I uh, and actually knows. I'd like to hear it. <sighs> well, 
Well, you know, we might possibly get a chance to ask Stevie um, about all of this. That was a good shot. Who looks like he is about to Is he on out. seven? He's on seven. Okay. And he's about to finish from the Keep break. his stroke straighter. Yeah, I, I can make guesses all night. I was curious if anyone knew. I have a couple of friends who use wrist guards as well. Andrew Belcher, for one. And, uh, and he says it keeps his wrist straight. And look at this. This would be... Well, the thing is, but his wrist isn't... A whole bunch of okay. break and runs by Stevie Moore. Who yes, he um, eliminates the thing Oscar is, I don't, from this event. I don't know oh, how it would... I don't know how it would keep his wrist uh, straight because he uh, he has a little bit of a hook. He he hooks his uh, hand in a little bit. It's not yeah. it's not even straight. He he turns his hand in. So, well, hopefully Stevie will be able to uh, come up and, and elaborate and tell us things. Yeah, elaborate a little bit. It's a pro shot glove. BNR clinic. Hold on. Hey Stevie, 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 come here for a second. I'm going to see if I can grab Steve to say a few things. Stevie, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to hopefully just congratulate you. That was that was a really good performance. Sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, we've had a lot of questions from the chat room and also, you know, we were kind of curious uh, that we noticed you using a really long queue. I couldn't tell. <laughs> it's long to who? <laughs> well, we wanted to know, uh, and also we're noticing the wrist, the wrist guard as well, and we wanted to know if, if, if any of any of this had an influence. Well, just what the function is. This what, what's the function of, of the wrist guard? Part of Earl Strickland's influence. Does it keep your wrist from breaking? Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You don't seem like a violent man. Oh, hmm? not at all. Well, I've got a catapult, so a slingshot. But anyway, um, I noticed you... You know, you you close out about five breaks, uh, five racks from the break, didn't you? Um, something like that, I believe. And that was a real good performance there. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Oscar's a hell of a champion. You know, it's uh, it was just unfortunate for him. Uh, the last break, he broke broke dry there, and then I run out and broke and ran out. So it was, uh, you know, it's the way it is sometimes. Yeah, it, that's absolutely right. But I just want you all just to remind the, the audience here too that. This table is a very difficult table to play on. You don't seem to care. Doesn't seem to affect you. Well, I did play pretty well there at the end. So, yeah, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. All right. Well, listen, I wish you the best of luck in the rest of this event. You're doing real well. Okay. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome, Stevie. That's right. He's going to have to kill us if he tells us. I still us. want to know what the wrist guard's for. <laughs> well... If he told you, he'd have to kill you. So, well, did you that, did you see the name on it or anything? Like who it's made by? Because then I could just Google it, you know. Yeah. I yeah. mean, maybe it's a bowling glove. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It might be a bowling glove. You know, one of those things that keeps your wrist from breaking. It's possible, you know. Um, he might have had some wrist problems. Uh, I don't. There's no telling, but uh, I don't know. obviously he's keeping it a bit of a trade secret, you know. And uh, he looks like he's playing real well, so. You know, real strong finish by Stevie.